How's it going, Aries? Thank you so much for checking me out here at Reflexive Moon Tarot. Welcome, welcome. Um, before we get into cards, let's talk about what this reading is all about. This is the new moon reading. So starting off the lunar cycle, marking the new moon. So lights out for the moon. Um, it's a good time to replenish your space, get rid of anything that no longer serves you especially if it's energies that you've been attracting up until this point. And with the new moon in Leo, uh, we're being asked to try and stay lit during this period of darkness. So not allowing the negative attributes of the sign Leo um, overtaking our psyche, I guess, or our daily routine. So those attributes would be um, arrogance, dom dominance, like domineering types of behaviors, and stubbornness. You may find yourself challenged with this. Now the positive attributes that we want to replace those with are super fabulous when it comes to the sign Leo. The sign Leo is strong. The strength card is ruled by the sign Leo. Planetary influences are Mars. Mars is the ruling planet of the strength card as well as the sign Leo. So there's a warrior spirit and that's naturally attributed. Oh wait, no, Aries is Mars. So this is you as well, okay? So your warrior spirit may be feeling a little bit drained, but it's in those moments of feeling super drained and down and out that we find that we seek that little reserve of energy that we have left for when all else fails and we push through. So having the strength and confidence, which is which comes naturally for you being an Aries, and courage as well. So courage to meet whatever challenges come our way and not, not, um, what's the word? You know that fight or flight mode that we go into? It's not doing the flight thing, it's doing the fight thing. Now sometimes retreating is important if you're going to be like preserving yourself. So I'm not saying that you need to fight all battles that come your way use your own like discretion discernment right but anyway either way like i pulled i pulled this card before i started doing the readings which is black has black cat card it's from the um oracle of black enchantment by uh deviant moon so this is beating the odds this card when you're looking at the light aspect of it as you can see the little bird the little bird is still kicking it, ready to take flight. Hasn't totally been caught yet by this big black cat. So are you the bird or are you the cat? And both of these aspects are a part of who we are. So let's get into some readings here. Oh, and I got a cute little proton pack. So we're going to start off giving thanks for all it is. And we are going to zap all of the evil spirits and bad energies out of this atmosphere out of this space Ooh, we got domination damn called it you see that such a gorgeous deck domination so the number 47 might be significant to you what's four and seven is 11 so 11 11 mark that time and make a wish now we pulled it reversed so surrendering to your weaknesses, submission and subservience. We have the red versus green lion. So this is like red Hulk versus green Hulk shit. 
who came first green hulk okay so i would say that we should stick with this might be like a battle between originality versus like some random doppelganger kind of energy coming through for you either way both have rights to the crown both come from the same entity so it's time for you perhaps to have some sort of ceremony to honor those aspects of yourself past present even bring in the future let the crown represent the future of what's going to dominate and i i would say that you know it's not a bad idea to have both of them do that to be honest with you dualities and both like dual like dual aspects of the self can 100 percent rule our future i would say that that is the case most of the time whatever house whatever house is gemini your gemini is in or which house rule is ruled by Gemini. I'm not I'm not much of an astrologer. I do have an appreciation for astrology and it definitely guides a lot of, you know, how I am informed with doing readings. But I I I listen to other astrologers for astrology. Uh, my favorite astrologer is uh Bommy Spirit. And then I love any kind of like um, sidereal astrology videos too. It's important to support like, so I love sidereal astrology because it's super accurate. I got a lot of Virgo placements, so I'm all about accuracy. Mind you, I was just reading up on it and uh, the Persian calendar is the most accurate calendar system on earth right now. There's so many other amazing ancient calendars and like astrological um astrological ways like world views that go along with those calendars that are totally worth honorable mentions and super amazing and sophisticated but yeah a little a little piece of um useful useless information <laughs> okay the moon reversed from mildred's deck so what is like i wonder like if if this is about something that you are 100% aware of, maybe you're aware of your weaknesses. Um, you're aware of the like natural cycles, your stubbornness even. And you could be dwelling in some dark emotions right now, feeling a little bit... You could be feeling a little bit crazy right now. The moon is like it's literally lights out right now for the moon. Me, I get I get headaches. I get I get exhausted. And some may argue that I'm spiritually weak because I can't really get over it, but sometimes I think it's quite the opposite. <laughs> it is quite the opposite. So Oh, we're not using this one anymore. We're good. So let's see what Tara has to say for Aries, for the new moon in Leo. We're starting off with the Knight of Swords. Okay. Now the Knight of Swords reversed thinks that they're really cool and smart. And they like to hustle people with their brains. But it's like mediocre. <laughs> unfortunately for them, unfortunately for you perhaps, it is a mediocre act. So, there's nothing wrong with mediocrity. Like, we can celebrate mediocrity. But when it's reversed, like, this individual is, is a liar and you may want to be nice to them because you know that they're lying. You just kind of feel bad that they're not really that good at it. I feel that pages can be more so like that as well. You're just like, aw, you're not really good at this, are you? But I sound like such a bitch right now. <laughs> I wish I cared. 
The Knight of Swords, though, reversed, is somebody that may have you fooled to a certain degree. Like you thought that they were a good person or that they were smart. And then you just kind of come to a realization that it's not really the case. Or you thought that they had what it takes and really just their lack of focus and like their ability to be focused and their ability to have energy and bring those two things together really is off when it comes to timing. And you could even take this further and just go on about the fact that this person really is a gossip and they're they're telling they're telling really like they're really malicious about it even just really telling untrue things because they want to make a person look bad so that they can look better or they can feel better or whatever bullshit reason you know people do that so this is a person that you're concerned with now, if this is someone that you're with, love reading wise, they're not the one for you. You're not going to ever experience any kind of wish fulfillment with them. So you can wait till the water runs dry or you can stop wasting your time and take the matters of your heart into your own hands. But it looks like you might stick it out with them. Maybe maybe they're a great conversationalist or they're, they're, their stick is that they're really good at making it look like they're learning and trying to grow with you. So watch out for that. That's some psychological shit right there. That's how it looks. Overlooking the situation, we have the sun. The universe is telling you that you need to spark your joy again. Your joy is... Your joy is inconsistent. Your energy is inconsistent. Although you are quite privileged on some level and happy. There's a happiness that you have, Aries. A privilege that you experience. And that can be so many different things. You have awesome dreams. You have awesome dreams. What else? Your imagination is really out there, like super, I almost want to say like I'm getting like this steampunk feel. And it's even kind of creepy and scary too. There's something about it. I just had the movie, like the movie, I don't know if you've watched the movie Return to Oz, but that just came to my mind, like those weird wheelie creatures. <laughs> They're kind of like evil and sinister. Okay. So, strength. I called it with strength on Leo. Um, this could be, we just had the 8 8 portal, which is very centered in Leo. It happens during Leo season. What is it? The 8 8 8 portal? I th I'm pretty sure it stems from, uh, like, Egyptian Egyptian practices. Uh, it correlates with, like, the brightest star on the horizon and the, um, the rising of the Nile River. So it is very much linked to that particular um, area on Earth. Uh, most, you know, observational holidays are think about like um, indigenous and ancient civilizations observation and location is like location is critical to observation when it comes to um, celebrations that are created it's just human nature it, that's how it is so you were you were going through that and you also were just really in tune with um fostering your confidence and your courage and your strength as well, taming your inner beast, but also giving it space to be itself. That's something that you were working on in the past. 
And moving forward, you're going to focus that energy on the work that you do, on the skills that you are trying to develop um, that are, they could be for your health, it could be for your finances, for your like career stuff. This can be also networking. So you want to reach out and talk to people that you really, I don't know, that you really feel you can connect with. And if you don't know what you don't know, or if you don't know who the best um, individuals are to connect with, it's just a matter of trying. You still got to try it out. But the people that you want to connect with, like, you really just have to, um, I don't know if you want to be more confident, have more confidence in yourself. And that will be like, you'll, you'll reflect that in them. Or maybe you want their confidence to reflect yours and that might not always be the case because the people that you want to connect with and interact with, they might not perfectly reflect who you are and you may not always resonate with them and that could be the gift that you bring them. So thinking about uh, the Six of Pentacles as well, I know that the Six of Pentacles was coming through quite a bit in past readings. I'm not sure if it was for Aries or not, but if you want that Six of Pentacles, sometimes you have to see, um, you have to put yourself in spaces where you see that you can contribute your gifts and, and if you think that your gifts would benefit the situation and then you may, and then that, um, that reciprocity comes th through. And it's not always you receiving something in return, but it's you feeling that sense of purpose, that wholeness that is so inherently linked with social connections your spirituality our spirituality is strengthened with connection connection to the ground connection to ourself connection to our family whether it be chosen or blood and connection with our community connection with our workspace everything everything is everything everything is connected all right and like these people, they got each other's back. One's giving them ideas. The other one is, you know, tattooing that person's booty. <laughs> like there's, there's lots going on. Everybody's contributing to their gift to the space. That is the essence, like the true essence of like socialism <laughs> or uh, interconnected community blah 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 we got the lovers Ooh. so gemini energy self-love honoring all aspects of yourself dark light masculine feminine this is a perfect time to do that this is like the moment of darkness that makes us yearn for what it is that we potentially are taking for granted when the light is powerful so what are those things? What do you miss right now that you had two weeks ago in terms of your mindset, of your heart, of your body, and the way that you are feeling connected to others? Which What, what did we have the last full moon in? It was Aquarius. It was Aquarius. So sustainability feeling like you have enough like you're the energizer bunny you just keep going and going and going that doesn't always get to be like you know 24 7 for the rest of your life we get older we get wiser hopefully and you just start doing different things putting your energy elsewhere on what's really important to you. Okay. But you got a good approach here. Loving yourself, the aspects of yourself. This could also be a choice that you're feeling like is you're faced with. Love is a choice, always. You don't have to love somebody if you don't want to. The High Priestess. So people see that you are super duper intuitive connected now with this uh, reverse moon that we had with mildred i don't know i must have put it way back in the deck 
way back in the deck somewhere. So with the reverse moon we have in Mildred's deck and the high priestess. So your the way that you feel is not always matching the way that people perceive you. In this moment, that doesn't mean that it's fixed, okay? The moon is never a fixed thing. It Like it's fixed, it's stuck, we have it in orbit surrounding us and influencing us, but there's like eight phases that it shifts through continuously over and over and over and over and over again, right? And you know, we never see the dark side of the moon, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the moon, the dark side of the moon is dark. It's lit. Like, I'm sure that the moon's ass gets burnt by the sun sometimes, right? So, I guess what I'm trying to get at here is just own the way that people see you. And, and sometimes that is not easy. That's not easy at all especially if the way that you look is not always put together, right? Like this is put together and do not look like this on a regular basis, on a daily basis. You can watch me in my daily reads. I look like I just woke up because most of the time I just did. <laughs> Don't we all wish we woke up like this, Beyonce styles? I mean, sometimes <laughs> if the drunk sleep was right, <laughs> But we don't do that anymore. <laughs> All right. Sometimes the most shameful walks are done in the most fabulous ways. <laughs> we got the fool. The fool. You're afraid of not being able to start something new or taking the taking the challenge of doing something new, of taking a risk. I would say don't be afraid, like forget about it. You win some, you lose some. And if you can really be honest with yourself about what it is that you have to lose, which is probably nothing, then you're okay. You have nothing to be afraid of, right? Absolutely nothing. I feel like it's like I'm just getting a gain with that. I'm feeling a gain. Even if you, if it all like, you know, it's worst case scenario happens for you, you still gain from that experience of that initial act of being courageous enough to take the plunge. We have the Queen of Swords. We are not ending with this. But there is somebody who's going to come through. Somebody who's manipulating you on some level and she sounds like oh, excuse me she sounds really harsh it's almost like she's just like regurgitating shit <laughs> she's regurgitating things that you've heard before obviously it's regurgitated shit maybe you're done with someone's regurgitated shit or you need to be done with their regurgitated shit, okay? Hopefully that's not my readings. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, yeah, please do hit that like button. It goes a long way. For me, at least. It gives me the feels. Thank you. The Wheel of Fortune. I really appreciate the opportunity to read for people. This is, this is my favorite pastime. Now the Wheel of Fortune reversed. There's something that you're ignoring. What are you ignoring? You're ignoring your path. You might also be undermining the path of others. How are you doing that? I don't know. But non-interference is something good to look up. Non-interference. And also, like, not letting other people interfere with your shit, most importantly. It's really, really tricky. You know, you can have that Stockholm Syndrome where the person that is... Um, 
the person that's got I want to say got you down but it's got you under their hold and they're influencing you kind of like that empath narcissist dynamic that's in like pop pop psychology culture uh, I'm not saying that that's real but the di there's like an element of truth to that dynamic like you can analyze a dynamic and through that lens and find accurate aspects right so that doesn't mean that both parties or both who are involved in that type of dynamic don't have work to do, right? So what is your work that you need to do? Are you the narcissist who is worried about what other people think so much and it stems from deeply embedded feelings of insecurity? Um, also, are you just completely emotionally, so emotionally disconnected for whatever reason, like your dopamine effect is off, you have detachment issues as a child for traumatic things that have happened to you. Um, you know, there's all kinds of reason why we have trauma and why we don't, why people are like on some next level, I don't give a fuck shit, right? Do you wanna care or don't you wanna care? Leo, Leo's care. That is true to their nature. They might be stubborn, domineering, and arrogant at times, but they, like when you think about a lion, like their pride is everything to them. And they have like a fucking harem of like she lions, right? So they clearly care about something enough that like a pack of females are able <laughs> to like be about one dude <laughs> there's got to be something there so when you do your little dance it's taking you to this ability to develop all these skills this person cares about what they do. They may not care about the person that they're hustling for money on some level. But this person here, when it's reversed, it's also like it's saying that you don't care about what you do and you need to care about what you do. You don't have to care about care and love every single person that crosses your path. Like there's like a like a general love, for example, that a person would give, like prime example of what this looks like on a massive scale, or like large scale is like um, a pop star and their fandom, like their fan base. They love their fan base, their fan base loves them. They do not exist as the pop star without their fan base. And then of course, like the industry of, of music and all that kind of stuff, backing them up right? There has to be a demand. Now, this person is doing stuff. And this, if this might be you like your stuff, that the stuff that you're doing, it, it might not have or like you just might not care enough about the people that are demanding what it is that you supply. So I don't know. Like, I don't know what to say about that. Or maybe you're just not loving what you do as much anymore. Maybe you need to step away from it so that you can love it again. Sometimes this person is just going through the motions to get money, even though they don't, they no longer love what they do. They may have once loved what they do. They have a craft. They have a gift. They express themselves on some level. And they're able to, you know, generate some cash flow with that, with their love of what it is that they do with the gift that they've been that they've been given right this will also could be about a lack of balance with your earth energy so you need to get grounded how do you get grounded aries you need always like aries you need a solid ground to burn your fire else you end up looking like it's it's so easy for you to look arrogant you're that's like that's like your middle name <laughs> i don't mean that in a bad way it's just aries has a tendency to be overconfident 
and you see that as a positive trait but not everybody takes that as a positive trait it works if you're like if you got that amazing warrior spirit that kills shit right it works for you but at the same time if you're trying to get people to support and celebrate what it is that you're fighting for you need to put some of that shit in check or you need to get grounded and I say I would say that the key to your grounding would have to do with accountability would have to do with humbling yourself and seeking guidance from somebody that maybe you haven't sought guidance from before somebody new okay try somebody new the person that you have been seeking guidance from up until now is and if that could be yourself this could be somebody who is a Taurus. But either way, I don't know, it's just like you're subjecting yourself to some type of dogma that is, I don't know, it's like old or oppressive. It's holding you back. You need to honor you're the embodiment of your femininity and, and like fi like what pleases you what pleases you do what pleases you right now cuz you're emotionally a little bit out of whack so how are you going to get consistent again doing what pleases you and feeling that joy that comes from the sun i mean it might just take a few days till we get out of this new moon phase right it might just be the lunar influence that we are under at this time so it could be very brief, right? This isn't like very, this isn't fixed. Go out and do something fun. Go do something that makes you happy, like kid happy. Go and, I don't know, go hang out with some old buddies or just do, be in a space that is nostalgic for you or create that vibe on some level. And that, I feel like, is your ticket to dealing with, you know, the negative influence of these, these individuals that are, that have, have a hold on you. And also just getting your mind in a place where you're more balanced holistically. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much thank you so much for checking out my channel and this reading and please do hit that like and subscribe for more if it resonates with you and we'll catch you next time take care and bye for now